Hello everyone, my name is Hannah Heisel and today on Lunchbox, not lunch, it's not Lunchbox Naturalist, it is live animal lunchtime here at Dorothy Pico Nature Center. And today with me I have Harlan, who is our barred owl. He is our educational ambassador. And to have an educational ambassador, we do have to have a permit. And we do have a permit for Harlan as well as all of our other animals here at the Nature Center. Harlan, we received in April of 2017 from Kay at SOAR, which is Saving Our Avian Resources. Harlan was hit by a car, unfortunately, and sustained a compound humerus fracture to his left wing, meaning he cannot fly um, long distances. He can fly short distances, which means that he can't hunt for his own food. Harlan weighs about two pounds and it may not seem like a lot, but when you're holding him um, kind of like I am without my stick that I have, it does get kind of heavy because it's an awkward position. So that is why I do have the pole here with me today. So he does weigh about two pounds. Um, he might get a little, a little over two pounds, a little less, but it's typically around two pounds. We aren't sure how old Harlan is, but we do know that barred owls can live to be up to 24 years old. Typically, barred owls eat small animals such as squirrels, mice, uh, voles, rabbits, reptiles, amphibians. But Harlan here at the Nature Center gets three to four dead mice or chicks. He prefers mice and we do feed him daily. We won't see him eat today because owls do hunt at night, so they are nocturnal. They hunt at night, so typically they eat at night, and Harlan prefers to eat um, at night, and he doesn't like when people are watching him. Um, since he does eat mice, chicks, and out in the wild since they eat other things, owls can't digest bones, so they'll eat their food and then they we will regurgitate and then it'll come up as owl pellets. Barred owls are common here in Iowa. They do not migrate, so you will see them over winter here in Iowa, but they usually stick to their territory. So once they find a place they like to call home, that's where they stay. The barred owls do mate for life. So once they find their soulmate, that's who they're with um, till the end, and they raise one clutch of owl babies, and there's usually one to five eggs per clutch. Harlan here makes a sound that goes, who cooks for you, who cooks for you. I'm not very good at imitating that sound, so I'm not going to try that for you today. Um, he does make a clacking noise every once in a while, and that's usually a warning sign, um, or we just like that he's talking to us. Uh, he also, and he might do it today on camera, he might start to pant, and that's just because he's hot. It is a little stuffy in here, so that might be why he does that today. And as you can see, he is turning his head. He can rotate his head 270 degrees, uh, but not a full 360 like some people think. The main predator of a barred owl is the great horned owl. And the great horned owl uh, is their main predator because it does eat the barred owl's eggs as well as the young, and it sometimes can eat a full grown adult uh, barred owl. And if you're curious what a great horned owl uh, looks like, there is one on the wall behind me, but they do have, uh, looks kind of like horns, but it's actually just their feathers. A cool thing about owls is they have uh, wing adaptations uh, to break up the wind so that they can fly silently uh, when they're hunting at night. Barred owls get their name from their feathers. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but if you happen to come out to the Nature Center and check out Harlan, his feathers on the front kind of look like a bar, so that's how they get their name, the barred owl. He has brown eyes. Most owls have yellow eyes, but barred owls have um, brown eyes, and he has a short, small beak that is a uh, orangish yellow color, kind of cream. He does have ears, but is, his ears are hidden uh, by his feathers. So he's got some fluffy feathers on his head, which makes his head look much bigger than what it actually is. 
As you can see, he's got some sharp talons and he's really gripping onto my finger, but my glove protects my finger. Um, but he uses his talons to catch his prey. So he'll catch his prey with his talons and then he'll use his sharp beak to eat his food. Like I said, he does turn his head 270 degrees so he can see all around him and his hearing is magnificent. Uh, he does have two sets of eyelids one set of eyelid um, is full of is all feathers and then the other one is kind of a it kind of looks whitish blue and that's more so for cleaning his eyes um he's really calm today he was kind of being silly earlier but he's doing pretty good today um one thing about um owls is when you i'm gonna lift him up a little bit here when i turn my hand he uses his feathers to balance, to balance, yes, hello, <laughs> um, to balance. So then when the wind is blowing outside in the trees, uh, people ask, well, how do they keep their balance? They use their feathers to alter them. He's just chilling. But if you have any questions or comments about our barred owl, please drop them if you haven't already and we will get back to you on those. Like I said, Harlan will not be eating in front of us today because he is nocturnal and he likes to eat at night. If you have the opportunity, come out and see him here at the Nature Center as well as our other animal ambassadors and join us next Thursday for live animal lunchtime as the other Hannah is going to be introducing you to our salamander. Thanks.